Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Ting Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. If this sounds like a contradiction, there isn't investigate further. If you are confused or things go over your head, keep going over the videos. Don't be afraid to ask any questions. Okay. So I want to answer a question left in the comments by 8985. Can you share how Taurus is the beginning? I'm just following along and enjoy the perspective. However, Aries is always the beginning or first sign in Zodiac. Pisces being the, the last sign or end. Okay. Now this video um, is going to be a bit of a challenge for me because I've got to be very careful how I approach this and the words that I say. And yet I'm not going to fluff this up in cotton wool for you. You've been lied to about everything. And I mean everything. It says in the Bible, the whole world is deceived. Let God be the truth and every man a liar. The evil one rules over the world. Okay. And he is a liar and a murderer from the beginning. Through social engineering, which creates the psychological makeup, a world is painted over your mind like a Faraday cage. It's fictitious. It's a shadow century copy reality. It's not real. It's called the deep. It's called the pit. Hades, the duet, hell. All right. Nothing to be fearful about. You're being disclosed this by spirit because you are coming out of the deep. You are here for a reason. I'm here to glorify my father. This is not from me. There is many verses in the Bible that literally tells, tells you that you're in the underworld, hell, Hades, and many souls are completely unaware of where they are. Okay. In the end, those called the clay is washed from your eyes, the carnal mind. And the truth is disturbing, especially when you see it. Hence, many of us who are in this state groaning, crying out, deep call to deep, the sign of Jonah, get me out of hell. That's what Jonah actually says. Pay attention to the verses, all right? Because that's where we are. Everything has been a lie. And so over the years, going down this avenue of the astrology, the constellations, okay, I soon realized what Father was revealing to me. That what we are presented with is fictitious. fictitious. It's fake. It's not real. There's a lot missing. It says in the Bible, they turn things around, flip upside down or take bits out. You must pay attention because of the nature of the realm that we are in. OK, so I'm just going to say that and not elaborate further down that avenue in regards to the nature of this realm and where we are and I'm going to try and answer this question all right <laughs> okay so <clears throat> Taurus we get given imagery like this okay we get a basic insight into the constellations and yet there's so much more all right out there now you need to really understand symbology archetypes numerology and through deduction going into the allegories the anagrams the occult secret knowledge hidden knowledge etc you will receive greater revelation now you're only going to receive this by let by turning to father and letting father do the works in you to reveal it Reveal the truth to you. You need to go from strength to strength. Okay. Take the milk before the meat. I said that Taurus is the beginning. Aries is the end. But there's a lot more to it. You have to flip this the other way. <laughs> it's back to front, inverted, etc. And there's constellations missing. All right. Taurus is the beginning because it's the Aleph, A, beginning of the alphabet, right? I am the Alpha and the, and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So we need to start with the beginning, Taurus, right? Aleph, A, 
all right? Aries is the end. Again, they turn everything backwards in this world. Those who study the mysteries, going into the esoteric, the hidden knowledge, this is disclosed to them, the nature of this realm, where everything is flipped upside down, it's backwards. You get this presentation with the everyday pattern of life, the way that people orchestrate their affairs or the conduct, the code and conduct you'll find in a workplace. You will notice a lot of the things that people do is backwards. Those who are alive, the solar beings, right? Those who are real, you stand there scratching your head, knowing it, why does it have to be done this way? And you see something so much simpler. You do things opposite, all right? Okay, let me pause there. So years ago, doing my research, and I realized the constellations were, were not what we've been told. Jess from Jesus Saves mentioned this zodiac. Sorry for the poor image, all right? She noticed that with the Maseroth, the constellations were different on it. And yet there was still so much more missing. Notradamus, where there is hidden knowledge in it, mentioned about the 13th constellation. Let me pause there. Which is called Athucus, the 13th constellation. There's 13 constellations, right? As there's 12 apostles. Add Christ, you get 13, right? In the Bible, an ancient Bible, they found that there was 13 months, all right? Keeping this very brief and basic. So let's go to the esoteric. Let's go to the hidden allegories, all right? Because truth is in plain sight. It's all around us. Told us in right in front of our face, in horror movies, music videos, etc. So, for example, we get 13 Ghosts, the movie, which was a truth drop of the true number of months and constellations. The constellation, the secret sign, told us by Notre Dame in his secret quatrains. Okay, the 13th constellation, the secret sign, which marks the end. The serpent bearer. Okay which is a fucrus, all right, if I can say that right. 13, and yet there's more. But these are the major ones that are connected to the archetypal framework of the spirit man that's in us. Hence, we go to scripture, 13 apostles, Christ being the secret 13. Many people wouldn't accept that. They'd be like, oh, we flip from the first earthly man, Adam, the generic man, 666, to the heavenly man, Adam, all right? Being formed in the image of the sun, the image, love, wisdom and power of the invisible light, spirit and love, the father. OK, we are new creatures, a new creation and creation waits in eager expectation for the sons of God. We are coming out of the deep, out of the pit, the vampiric cannibalistic system known as Hades, Sheol, the Jewat. We're the pools coming out of it. We go from darkness to light. From falsehood to truth to reality. All right. So we needed to understand a lot of symbology. All right. The language of God, symbols. Because as I've mentioned, things are not what they seem. I mentioned about time. All right. And I said I, I'm in conflict with everyone because of the things that I know. I must go by the symbols, not by the feast days. It actually says in the Bible, I hate your feast days. Because right? Father is aware that everything is a lie here. We have to go by the symbols and everything is being fulfilled in Christ. In Christ we are free indeed. He gives us the signs and the symbols to let us know it's the end of our journey with the harvest that we be ushered out of the deep, out of the lie. All right. So, hence we have the comet in the serpent with the full moon in Aries. So we're putting the symbols together, all right? The serpent bearer, because that's the type of state you're going to be in. Here is Aries, marking the end. 
there is Egyptian symbolism where we also get the connection of Aries being the end, also with the horns, the same symbolism, rudimentary shape as the Omega, all right? The lamb that's laid down his life. I am the Alpha and Omega. He is about to ascend the resurrection, Christ in the middle, which is tied with the secret sign which was revealed as the end by Notre Dame, the end of the world, the end of the age. We need to be in a particular state of being as we see these signs in their revenant locations, not going by so much of the feast days. Some of them are close because Father is working where the different calendars, if you have a depth perception and think more multidimensional, not just looking at the surface of things, you can see it starts to reveal when the end is coming. And hence, we've seen a lot of signs um, and dates come and go. Yet, we must bear in mind, a lot was rehearsal and cycles. Okay, We were waiting for the numbers to come in and the proper symbols, precepts, alignments to occur, whereby many of us who are out there will give the signs, here we are. Hence, it was my task given by Spirit to come on here and share with you that which I received from Spirit, that we would go by the day. It says that in Scripture. He sends his messengers. There's no excuse. And I'm witness to all the harbingers, the signs of the harvest, etc. All right? I bear witness. It's part of the two witnesses. I bear witness to the Father, and the Father bears witness of me. These children, his peculiar people, his elect, that's where you get the two witnesses of what we receive from Father and what's gone on with the world stage. Many are unaware of the exercises that recently took place on the world stage was horrendous. It was a huge... How am I going to approach this? Rebellion against the truth. That's the best way to say it, I think. Let me pause there. Now, the serpent bearer is connected and relative to us going through a process because now we have taken control over our thought and emotions, going through a process, flipped to the heavenly man, Adam. All right. Not being fooled by the carnal mind. OK. Or the narrative of this world. Our eyes are open and the veils are lifted. Now we become the serpent bearer. We keep our mouth shut and we come from a place of love and compassion and hid away watching for our deliverance back into the land of the living, into reality. All right. Hence, watch, watch, watch. We are now the serpent bearers. OK, because we have the treasures of darkness, plain as the first earthly man, Adam, seeing the lie. We also see the truth and the light we saw in part we now see in full we go forward in holiness wholeness completion with the full moon in aries which marks the time of the end now let me just show, share something with you so as you can see in this scene oh wrong wrong image there you go okay as I shared in my previous one, Saturn, as part of the matrix, the cubic realities here, the tears and wheat, right? And the completion, the full moon, all right? Mm. I shared this image with you as well. Where there is a harvest, those who come into completion, right? Father meets us halfway. So we got the tares and wheat, the believers and non-believers. Many of us are here eagerly waiting this transition, transformation. OK, we were prepared for this through disclosure, revelation, etc. All foretold us in the Bible. In regards to the constellations, what many are aware of, what they've been taught, what many write books about, etc. It was all a lie, all fictitious. 
okay? The science, the wisdom, all foolishness in God's sight, as told us in the Bible. Go check it, check it out yourself. It's all been a lie. When I say this, I'm aware many will not grasp it. Many will not accept it. And the ego likes to keep you in its comfort zone. Because when you really come into truth, you're going to wobble. As mentioned in the Secret Gospels of Thomas, he says, let him who is seeking truth to continue seeking. When he finds, he's going to be disturbed. You're going to be troubled. Because you're going to realise that you've been living a complete and utter lie. But there's nothing to fear. Because from this journey comes great possessions. Father goes with you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. There is a promise at the end. All right. And hence we will enter into eternity, into life, in the expansion of ourselves after coming out of the deep, out of the organic, simulated, AI, digital system, the matrix. It's not real. And it's a containing realm unit for souls to traverse through. And there's not very nice entities here, part of the program, doing the will of the father, the devil, as told us in the Bible. It uses that term. It's just a term used to describe the archetypal framework of obscurity, of lies, of deception, of sin, which means to fall short. All right. To be handed over to this base mind, believe the eyes and do acts of abomination. Where you have to labor and sacrifice, etc. There's a lot, as you can see, when it comes to truth. Now, Father says in the Bible, I sent you to reap, not to labor, but you enter the labors of men, meaning you believe in, in man. Let God be the truth, every man a liar. When it comes to the consolations, you need to really do your homework because this is only a, a fraction of the truth. I know this through my own development from 2011 when I was 33. Father was giving me the symbols through deduction and the archetypal framework, understanding symbology. I got to put the constellations together. I kept sharing it throughout my videos. And so all the pieces coming together, we start off as series, the dog star, who becomes a loyal, devout, devoted dog to its master symbolically us to our husband again all right we were the wolf we become a werewolf we're flipped then we played as the hunter all right which is tied with nimrod we read the pattern look at the way that man is he's a hunter he criticizes he condemns he's a judge a hunter okay with gurgitating and perpetuating the narrative he's there with his bow all right then we're flipped to the hunter of men, as in a fisher of men. All right. Then we were the lame bull, cut down, didn't have all our faculties, believe in the narratives. We were blind, deaf and dumb, the lame bull. But then we are restored, the white bull restored by Enoch, mentioned by Enoch. Then Pleiades, free the captives, through love, Venus with the sun and moon. OK, the sun and moon were part of a process where we absorb the spectrum which forms the spirit man in us, coming out of the furnaces of affliction, going, going from darkness to light, in maturity, having the word formed in us. Do you not worry about the constellations, trying to put it all together? Okay, because there is so much more as well, and I don't know everything. I have that which I've received from spirit. He showed me the framework of the spirit man in us and the times that we are in. All right. Because there is so much more to the Maseroth vault of heaven, the constellations time It's multidimensional. OK. Even our past, our present and future. Is constantly changing. All right. Yet father has given us an image of our eternal heavenly homes. The more that we desire and keep the measuring rod stopped here not out in the courtyard where it's being tread down. We can invest in our eternal heavenly home and be flipped to the heavenly creature, 
get a thought word indeed in order for judgment begins at the house of God and we are that house by doing so we actually changing the past too all right like retro causality because you are connected to the stream right change the stream right by being a new creature right in that stream of consciousness in that imagination right because you're constantly present that which is behind loosely comes back to meet you because you've been operating from the paradigms your power uh, yeah your imagination your memory the patterns everything comes cyclical cycles all right but now we're aware of the old patterns from the world the programming and so we've through the lamb's blood on a consciousness let go of it we focus more on the future and changing who we are now and as we move forward to the vision to the loyal image right it changes everything behind us too and so the garden of eden is restored he makes known the end from the beginning what's the beginning us with the head off with the heads the garden of eden the rib taken out of us the conscious or subconscious right the conceived conception to salt and source in the end it's all restored when it's all restored the rivers if, if you pay attention to scripture that are going all the directions are now pure the living waters and it changes everything all right even your past the present and the future and so time you now being a serpent bearer controlling time controlling reality the manifestation going into eternity where the sun and moon we've been put ashamed there's no need for that anymore the land becomes the light thereof part of your mind your imagination back in the tabernacle we serve and live for the lord jesus christ i'm kenneth andre tengajutsu master and mystic messenger love you guys have a good day good insight there for you all right <laughs>